Hello, welcome back to the Expert 11 Road to Glory series, where in the last episode we lost for the first time in ages and are now 1 0 defeats in slightly unfortunate circumstances to P4AHFC. And in this episode, we are taking on Corinthians, a Division 7 side in the Ultimate League Cup second round. So let's have a look at Corinthians' squad and see what we're up against. Well, not a lot to be honest. All their names are Polish, so I apologise if I just struggle with pronouncing them, but their highest skilled player is a 7 bar goalkeeper. The rest is pretty average to be honest. We should be able to steamroll these guys quite easily, so let's go straight to the team news. Corinthians line up in a 4 4 2 formation with Jersey Velaskuski in goal. A back four Wiltel Surlet, Iliador Kowalczuk, Oskar Bielek, and Milos Luti. A midfield of Wiesel Popizanski, Warian Sabanski, Eric Maulowski, and Alphonse Rosetsky. And a front two of Dominic Posiliak and Katarzyn Tiska. Knights meanwhile line up a 4 5 1 formation with Ant Connolly in goal, a back four of Devin Riley, Ibrahim Kamara, Ledley King, and Pedro Miramontes. A midfield five of Azrat Zairi, Pierre Pestink, Alvito Roma, Wei Juna, and Raymond Hargreaves. A front load man of Irfan Ghazali. Good opportunity for our reserves to get some game time. Let's go live to the Arena Corinthians for the match. <laughs> Captains for this match are Oscar Bielek for Corinthians and Ledley King for Knights of Sidonia. The referee for this game is already the 7-7 referee. Corinthians are in the white strip playing from left to right, Knights in the red and yellow strip playing from right to left. In the bottom right hand corner of the screen you can see matches from some of the highest ranked seeded teams in the Ultimate League Cup, which include top flight sides and Division 1 sides as well. For example, JK Besiktas are a newly promoted top fight side and are one of the current good teams in the Ultimate League. Anyway, let's get this started. Knights kick off and are taking a large majority of possession here against Corinthians who have only just been founded this season and look like they're heading for the job centre already. Dominic Poliak has been the other card of arguing for Corinthians in the 15th minute of the game. We've got a chance here. There's a battle kick and goal by Efren Ghazali! He scores with his first chance and goal. Erfan Ghazali has opened his account in the Knights of Sidonia with his first goal for the club. Alvisha Roma lofted the ball into the area and Ghazali, spectacular goal with the bicycle kick there. We've got a free kick in a dangerous position here. Is this up for Erfan Ghazali? Tries to the half volley. Ward off by the goalkeeper. Maybe Roman Tess would be better off going straight on goal there against Biokowski. How do you pronounce his name? His Polish names are too hard for me to pronounce sometimes. Ah! They come and go by Alvisha Roma! It's the right post. Well, we're 1-0 up and cruising here by looks of things, but it's we need to score more to make our chances count. We've got a breakaway here. Efren Ghazali tries to post the ball to the left of the goalkeeper. Freezes into the post. Ghazali is really up for it today. He is really in the mood and had plenty of chances to score with his first one. And he wants more. There's another chance. Efren Ghazali smashes into the crossbar. Ghazali, you really want to score more than one goal and make an impression on me today, don't you? But that is the end of the first half. At the end of the first half, Knights are 1-0 up after a very dominant first half in which we created all the chances and Corinthians have had absolutely none whatsoever. In the other matches, the top match you can see there is the new potential best team in the Ultimate League as we get the second half underway. We've got a chance. Precise head by Raymond Hargreaves. He scores! Raymond Hargreaves makes it 2-0 to Knights as he heads home Alvito Roma's cross. 2-0 Knights, and this is looking good for us so far. Hargreaves has scored his first goal of the match. We've got an injury for Corinthians as Sabanski has been slightly injured. And he's going to be replaced by Kislak. Kislak comes on in midfield. 68 minutes played. And we've got a chance here. Another shot of the goal by Raymond Hargreaves. And he scores again. Second goal of the game for Raymond Hargreaves. And then we're a shot in the penalty area. Wei Juniors first assist for the club as well. So that's going to be good. Efren Ghazali has scored the opening goal in this match. Raymond Hargreaves has added two more goals. And in a few moments' time, we're going to bring on Sergei Kivyakovsky, the veteran midfielder. This is the 100th match of his career at the club. A huge milestone, and for that, his heart has now changed to a golden heart. We'll be seeing it on other teams as Wei Juniors has taken on the goal over the crossbar. But yeah. On previous teams, we've seen other players with golden hearts. That's what that means. It means 100 games for the club as Pedro Miramontes has a free kick in the dangerous position. He takes it, shot and goal, as handled by Sabanski. He has to ask, oh, whatever the goalkeeper's name is. Ah! 
Who cares anyway? That's good. That's the end of the game and the end of the match. Let's win easily 3 0. But Mir Montez doesn't look quite as sharp since the next season's retirement. He's yet to score from a free kick, I believe. Because Lucy was the man of the match for Corinthians, while Deadly King was the man of the match for Knights of Slovenia. It's a very easy win, but the main talking point is Sergei Kivyakovsky's 100th game for the club and Ghazali's debut goal. Kivyakovsky, happy 100 games for Knights of Slovenia. We'll be with you all the way throughout this series since we first started it, so good to see you laboriously rewarded. Good work out there. Erfan Ghazali getting a goal on his debut with a spectacular bicycle kick goal. Serga Kivyakovsky reaching 100 games for the club. And good workouts for Devin Riley, Ibrahim Kamara, and Azrat Zairi, who was also making his debut for the club. And he will hopefully become a first choice midfielder alongside Roma, Hargreaves, Hesnink, and Tatar Essa. Right, let's say the team of the week for the second round of the first leg of the cup. Let's see who made it this time. It's quite different to what you might have seen before. Team of the week is Kutsi Ugyur of Joe Merrillish in goal. A back four, Bradley Downs, St. John's and Friends, Lawrence Donaldson, Steppenwolf Suckers, Alfredo Bertram, Strathmore Saints, and Diego Zanon of Singer City. A midfielder, Jamie Marrow, the Stretford Enders, Gorgon Lidfrist, RAK, Michael Meerdink, Molas, and Vidal Arbella, Jesus and his Pandas. And the front two are Col Colbert Ballas of Gato Grigo CC and Lenny Starkey of the Blue Eagles. Manager of the round should look familiar, it's Rafa 4PM of P4AHFC who we played in the last round, so he's done well to claim that reward for this round, even if it won't necessarily mean any cash rewards. Oh well. Anyway, in the next episode, we'll be taking on Sham, the strongest team in our division. It'll be a very big challenge, but I'm confident that perhaps we might be able to pick up a result against them. If we don't, it won't be too much of a surprise, but even so, we need to be beating stronger teams than us if we want to get promotion in the future. So. See you next time.